Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Boxing Bookie. We're going to show you how to bring down the house today. We're going to show you uh, how to make money on Luis Alberto Lopez um, versus um, Joette Gonzalez. Um, this is a, this is fixing to be a really good fight. Um, and DraftKings took their odds down on the fight. You can still get them, but for some reason you can't place a bet on it. I'm not sure what happened. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna share this with you right right quick, right? Uh, because it's a little bit different than what we usually do. Um, here are the odds, right? And, and and they give you DraftKings odds for the fight, but you go to DraftKings and it's not there. So I I don't know. Right, you can Giraffe Kings, they took it down. It was up there last night when I was putting this video together, when I was doing my research, and now it's gone. Um, I'm not exactly sure why that is. Uh, so we're going to use other odds. We usually always use Giraffe Kings, but today we're going to use FanDuel. You can see there's nothing on that card that's up there. There's nothing on that week that's up. So we're going to use FanDuel's odds instead. Um, it was a great fight, though. Um, you know, Luis Alberto Lopez has a great backstory. I, I don't see any – I'm going to show my hand here. I don't see any way that Luis Alberto Lopez doesn't win. His, I don't really see a path to victory for Joette Gonzalez. Um, I, L L Lopez came up in, in a fight back in 2019, early 2019. He's used it to B-side. I was talking to the uh, matchmaker on the fight, Guy Taylor. And I said, did you ever see Lopez when you used him to fight Ray Jimenez? It was his first televised card in the U.S. It was a smaller card uh, in, in Tacoma's Washington, right, middle of Washington's little casino on a Roy Jones card that aired on UFC Fight Pass. Uh, did you ever see him getting to a world title? And he looked at me like, absolutely not. But he came in, uh, competitive fight with Ray Jimenez, who was a little-known prospect, a little touted guy out of Dallas. Uh, it didn't really work out. Um he got the decision. Uh, it stopped after eight. He got a close technical decision, which the car seems a little wide, right? Uh, he came back. He dropped a really close decision to Ruben Villa. Uh, and then he got a couple of nondescript wins in Mexico. And then he got the win over Andy Vences. Then he got the win over Gabe Flores. And then he got the win over uh, Isaac Lowe, which he absolutely demolished him, dropped him. And that was the elimina elimination fight. He dropped him with the first punch he landed. Uh, Might have been the first punch he threw. I can't remember exactly. Uh, he dropped him, you know, 10 seconds. dropped him again in Second, dropped him with a body shot and ended him um, in, in the seventh. Uh, he won the world title with Josh Warrington in a very close fight, which I thought that they would take from him in the UK, but they didn't. They, they did the right thing, and Lo, Luis Alberto Lopez got the world title, and then he destroyed Michael Conlon. So this is a good fighter. You know, I, and I don't see Joette Gonzalez who I like. And I, I said when Joette Gonzalez stayed, uh, lost to Shakur Stevenson, I said if he stays at that weight class, if he stays at that weight, he'll eventually get a world title. Well, this is going to be his third shot, and I, I don't see that happening. I think it was wrong on that prediction. Um, he got annihilated by Shakur Stevens. I think that was in late 2019. He came back. He fought Navarrete. He got ops, uh, he he hung in there with Navarrete. He fought Navarrete really well in a really fun, exciting fight. Came up short um, in, a, in a fight that some people thought he won. I didn't see it that way. I thought Navarrete won. It was really exciting. It was close, but I thought clearly Navarrete won more rounds um, in a really competitive fight. So I thought it was it was it's competitive but clear, close but clear. For Navarrete, I don't think you get the seven rounds that Gonzalez won, but there are some people who argue that you could. I didn't see it that way. But he got a lot closer with Navarrete. He was close with Navarrete in a really exciting fight, more stylistically uh, viable fight for him to win. He just came up a little short. He lost to Isaac Dogbe again in a really, really close fight. I think you could argue he won that fight, although I didn't have it that way either. I had Dogbe beating him. So he keeps coming up short, right? And this is compelling, right? Because if it goes to a decision, the judges really like Luis Alberto Lopez, he always seems to get the close decision. Got it with Vances, got it with Warrington. Didn't get it with Villa, but probably didn't deserve it either. Um, got it with Jimenez. 
So he gets the close decisions. He got it wide on him as a fight that the announcers, James Smitty, thought was a draw. And one of the judges gave him all the rounds. So the judges, you know, judges like someone that likes someone. They seem to like him. So that's something to keep in mind. Like the judges, for whatever reason, the close rounds are probably going to go Lopez. Now, I don't see this fight coming down to that. I, I think Lopez, I think this is a fun fight. I think this is fixing to be a really good fun fight. I think, you know, Gonzalez does not use his jab at all. At all. Gonzalez, neither guy really uses their jab. But Gonzalez specifically doesn't use his jab. Uh, he really doesn't. He'd make his life so much easier if he set things up off the jab. He just doesn't do it. You know, now he's uh, pushing 30, I guess. I don't know how old he is. But he's really at the end, and uh, he's got the reach advantage. He's not going to use it. He's not going to use You know, if they box from the outside, neither guy uses their jabs, so the fight's not going to go that way. But if they did, I still think Lopez was, because Lopez will throw the jab from weird angles. Everything Lopez does is unconventional. It's awkward. He throws punches from weird angles, right? But he's, he's, he, he kind of reminds me a little bit of Carl Frotch, right, where, like, he's subtly good. Like, like, like he would, these aren't textbook things that he's doing. Um, but there's a little subtleness to what he does. Right? There's a little subtleness to his skills, his footwork, his angles. Like there's there's something to it, right? And even though he doesn't look, you know, perfect, um, there's something to it, right? He keeps his hands low, which I don't like any fire, but it allows him to fire shots from a variety of angles. Um, so I don't see a path to victory for Joet Gonzalez. So I'm going to show you how to place this bet according to FanDuel. I'm going to get that pull up for you again. Remember, we usually always, always use uh, – DraftKings, but they took their odds down, so we're going to be using uh, FanDuel. Uh, and, and that's good because FanDuel offers you a lot of props. I'm, I'm going to show you how to bet this, uh, the best way you can make money. It's not a whole lot of ways to make money on this, um, but a, a, a $100 bet on Lopez is paying minus 900 Now, you might want to double or triple up this bet. You may not, um, but that was only going to make it $11.11. However, if you look at what we're saying, Lopez to win by decision makes you, uh, it, it's placed plus 100, which in America we call that even, right? So it's going to make you even money. So a 200 dollars bet, a 100 on, on Lopez to win and a 100 dollars to win by decision, it's going to make you $111.11. Again, it's not a, a great way to make money, uh, but you know, looking at, at, at Gonzalez is a warrior. Gonzalez has not been stopped by Navarrete, he hasn't been stopped by Dog Bay. Um, and Lopez, you know, he, he knocked out Low and he knocked out Conlin. Um, but those guys couldn't really hit, um, and, and I don't think those guys are as good as Gonzalez. If you look at his other fights, Gabe Flores destroyed him, didn't stop him. He didn't stop Vences, right? So it, uh, he didn't stop Ray Jimenez. So he didn't stop those guys. So it's not like he's a, he's a, he's a, he's, a, he's a powerhouse. He's strong as an ox, Lopez is, right? But he's not. He doesn't stop everyone. So I really think a guy as rugged and determined as Duet Gonzalez, who's in his absolute last chance, likely to win a world title, is gonna is gonna go this. He's gonna get to the end of this fight. So I really like those odds. Um, the odds on, on Lopez again, you know, it, it's basically nine to one. You know, he, he, you know, he's a nine to one favorite. It's basically what that's telling me. It is what it is. He deserves to be the favorite. Those are really wide odds. I don't love those odds, but he's going to win the fight. So I'm not going to tell you to bet on Gonzalez when I don't even see a path to victory for Gonzalez. It might be different if Gonzalez had a, had a real path, uh, but he doesn't. He can't outbox from the outside. He doesn't use his jab. He's not as physically strong. He's not a big hitter as Lopez, and Lopez is – and he's so easy to hit. You know, he comes in with the high guard, but he can you can split it – you know, he leaves a gap, and you can really split it with the uppercut. Lopez has a really good uppercut. Lopez just throws his shots from a variety of angles, and, he, and he's going to be there, and, he, and he's going to kind of beat him down over time. But I do see it going the distance, so I really think that's your best bet. Let me know what you guys think. That's how I got it. Lopez uh, by decision, which will pay you on, 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 a, on a bet – a one hundred dollar bet on Lopez to win, and a one hundred dollar bet on Lopez to win by decision will make you one hundred and eleven dollars. So you walk away with three hundred and eleven. All right, it's not terrible uh, on a fight that I, I think is is pretty easy to predict Lopez by decision. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please follow me all on social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Also, follow my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 4th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.